Welcome everyone to the first ever at UCI campus Side Hustle Challenge. Put your hands together, let's make some money. Now the story behind this challenge is that we speak with thousands of students. I'm speaking in front of 300, the biggest lecture halls. I'm like, how many people are entrepreneurs? And you have like one person in the back that kind of goes like this and then they put their hand down because nobody else does. Everybody looks at me square in the face, they're like, meh. So we realized that you don't associate yourself as an entrepreneur and that's, that's cool. But what we realize is in talking to you, you've got a t-shirt business, or you are a tutor, or you babysit, or you do something on the side, right? And so we want to meet you with where you're at. And really, a side hustle at the end of the day is being an entrepreneur. It's finding a problem that somebody's willing to pay you to solve. It's you coming up with some sort of way to market it, to sell it, to have pricing, to keep track of it. And so we're really excited because Steph has put together an amazing competition. One where you're not competing against each other. You're all together to create successful side hustles to make money. So today, you're going to actually learn all about the structure, the process, the procedure, and we're going to help step you through the process. Now, raise a hand. Outside, I see you. How many people actually have a side hustle coming into this competition? Raise your hand. Boom. Give them a round of applause. We've got some hustlers in the room. Now, for dramatic effect, how many people do not have a side hustle? Raise your hand. Damn, give yourselves a round of applause. You're about to ready to make some money. Now we're gonna demystify this, and at the end of the day, if you identify as an entrepreneur or an entrepreneur or an entrepreneur or a whatever-preneur, who cares? We want you to know that in this world, just having a regular J-O-B is probably not enough. It's not always about making money, it's about turning your passions into profit. I love what I do outside the university and people pay me for it, and it's amazing. I love what I do in the university. So we live in a time where you've just got to make money, but we want to show you and give you the skills and reward you through the process. And at the end, week nine, you're going to showcase and you're going to actually sell to the public. And you're going to have a chance to sell to the public, whether you have one or not, this next Thursday. So this is trial by fire, but it's a safe environment. And you're not alone because it's not just us. I'd like to find Tom Andriola. Everybody say, where's Tom? Tom, get up to the mic over here. Give Tom a round of applause. Vice Chancellor, Data Information and Technology. All right, this is Tom. We love Tom. And think of him as like the Chief Technical Officer of UCI. Now, Tom's going to share what's happening in the back here, which is the hub. And really, at the end of the day, what we're doing for all of you is skilling up. We're helping you to skill up. Whether it's skilling up with generative AI to learn more about how you can find more customers, or whether it's understanding that Udemy is there for you to get better at what you want to learn, you're in college and we want to facilitate it. So Tom's going to tell us a little bit about the hub, and whether he knows it or not, he's supporting all of you because we are all supporting you through the access to the different technologies and systems programs in your hand. Put your hands together for Tom. Great, thank you. All right, thank you. So first of all, I want to, let's give a round of applause for Ryan here, the best hype man on campus, and on staff, the best organizer on campus. I come here because there is not a better party in town that's not in a fraternity, but I really appreciate the opportunity to be here. So I am going to talk about the hub, but I want to double down on Ryan's statements about the side hustle, right? Uh, never has there been a time when you could get paid for the gig, this, we call this the gig economy. And it's amazing because you can do something that you're really good at that's part of your normal J-O-B and get paid on the outside doing a little extra, or you can do something completely different. And I have three kids who are all about the same age as you, and we talked about side hustles at first when they were about 16 years old. Uh, and it could be anything from dog walking to yoga. You know, I got one that's a yoga instructor, and that's how she picks up a little extra money. Uh, I got one who's in marketing, and he does marketing on the side. So there's always something that you can do for that little bit of extra cash, whatever you want to use it for. Now, what's the hub? Okay, so you know, we're going to see over the course of, of this competition, we're going to see lots and lots of side hustle ideas, some having nothing to do with tech. But as Ryan said, I'm kind of the you know, tech guy for the university, and so I bring a lot of tech here. Um, you know, if you think about, some people start their businesses on Amazon and sell things. Some people use Amazon as a, as a platform for podcasts, and they make some money that way. So if you have those types of ideas where you need some tech, you want to create some products, some platforms, then my, my team is the team that you want to, want to come talk to, because we have access to things like AWS, Microsoft, 
uh, technologies that are low code, no code. You don't have to be a coder to work with the stuff that we're working on. If you do have tech skills, you can jump into things. But we have lots of platforms. The back half of this building over here is a kind of place to hang out and work and just even use the facilities to generate your ideas, do your brainstorming, use the whiteboards and stuff. Yeah, with we walking got, treadmills. We got walking treadmills, right? So you now, can get I've, your stuff. I've got in. a question, Tom. Yes. I heard this thing about work reimagined. Yep. And that you have these different skill set stacks of leveling up. Is that accessible to students? Absolutely, absolutely. Tell so, us about that. So please. there is a there is a platform that any one of you can sign up for here on campus. It's called Udemy. You you may know their company, but you probably know their biggest competitor, which is a company called Coursera. Anyone heard of Coursera? Okay, so Udemy is a company just like Coursera. So by having a UCI Net ID. You have access to get an account for Udemy, and you can learn any skill that, that you want. Oh, they actually got it up on screen. Cool. All right. You can Shopify. I, I did and my first. I heard first. that your team gathered and curated. Because the intimidating thing is just like looking at Netflix, like too many options. It's but you've many. actually gathered are, a, we're, tracks. We are starting to do that. A lot of that is, is, is organized around um, getting ready to go to, you know, go start your career. Right, so that's the kind or of stuff. Or side hustle. Or, but we could use it for side hustle, and you certainly find some things on there, probably everything from ideas for a side hustle to what kind of skills would I need for side hustle. So, but, you know, we try to let students know that, uh, you know, we first got this for employees of the campus, but it's actually available, we got it for everybody. Right, and so this is something that if you go to OIT and you do OIT Udemy, it'll take you to a page and, and show you how to sign up uh, with your UCI Net ID. All right, All right give oh, it up Mark, for Tom! Cool. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. All right, now I'd like to bring up our program coordinator, the queen bee of the house here, and she single-handedly with the, with the rest of our team has put together an amazing challenge. So I want you to clap louder than Tom. No offense, Tom, but you need to put your hands together for this lady right here who is going to break it all down because she's put it all together and she's helping you start your side hustle. When you make your first million dollars, you're going to remember this moment. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right, put your hands together for Stefani. So the moment you've been waiting for, we are going to talk about the nitty gritties of the side hustle challenge. Like Ryan mentioned, this challenge is really to teach you guys the skills on how to create it. We're also going to give you your first sale. So we're going to help you. We're going to give everyone who makes it to the semifinals an allotted chunk of money that you're going to be using as your first sale. We're going to teach you how to reinvest it back into your side hustle. That's what the checkbook is. So by the final marketplace, when you do start making real money with the external community, you know already how to put it back into your company, right? And you can do this with the side hustle you use for the challenge or anything else. We're really just trying to help you guys make money for the summertime, right? And the overall competition is like minimum hours possible. This is like five weeks, okay? In the five weeks, I think we only have a required like five hours of things for you guys to do, which is not a lot, okay? Overall, you can put in as much or as little, okay? As we go on, all of our workshops, they're all gonna be live streamed on YouTube, so you don't have to always come to them in person, because side hustles are something you do on the side, right? So this is different than our other comp competitions, because the rules are a little bit different. So this is only undergraduate and graduate students. Sorry guys, no PhD, no staff, no faculty, maybe next year, but not this year, okay? So this is it, and you can only have three teammates. Why? Because anything more than that is probably a start up, and it's a different competition, different, okay? This is like if you sell products and you have two people making something, or it's like you and someone else doing lash or washing cars or something like that, okay? If you have more than three teammates, find me after and we'll discuss, but really, Three or less, okay? And here are the rules. So first, you register. We have a QR code for you guys, so don't trip about finding it right now. You register for the competition. That's it. Second is you'll submit an elevator pitch at the Monday of week four, okay? It's two minutes or less. No pitch deck required. It's really just, this is what my side hustle is, this is what I wanna sell, this is who I wanna sell to, and this is why I wanna join the competition. Super simple, okay? Next week is the Irvine Tech Week boothing, which is like practice for your elevator pitch. We set it up that way on purpose, okay? All of these slides will be put online also. This third, thirdly, there is a mandatory workshop, just one, and there's two mandatory office hours, okay? The one mandatory workshop, I'll show you guys here on the next page, is Monday, April 22nd. 
okay? This one will be live streamed, okay? So if you can't make it in person, you can watch it virtual. If you can't watch it at all live, you can email me. You'll find it here. This will all be on the website. Ah, wrong way! Ah, wrong way! Oh, there we go. Sorry, guys. You can email me if you can't make them in person. If you can't make them in person or via live stream, there'll probably be like deliverables, like a code word or something added, so we know you guys actually watched. The reason, if you guys don't know, it is the financial and legal workshop. That's where we're gonna be teaching you about the checkbook because we're not gonna talk about that today. So we're giving you the overall gist. Checkbook is we'll be at that mandatory workshop. Does anybody have any questions so far? No? Cool. If you do, just raise your hand and we can answer them in real time. So this is the weekly breakdown, including all the office hours and things, okay? So the kickoff is today. Woohoo, you made it. Next week is Irvine Tech Week boothing. Ryan will talk about it a little bit more as we go on in the presentation. But ideally, boothing for that week is optional. I know some people might not be sure if they're going to join or not. That is a great place to go network, to go test out your idea like, oh, hey, would you ever get your lashes done? Cool, how much would you pay for? So this boothing opportunity is with all of UC Irvine and partnership with the city of Irvine. So there's a lot of high level people there. There's gonna be so much foot tra traffic, almost like LA Tech Week, but in Irvine. Then we have our mandatory workshop on Monday, week four, with also your pitch video due. Okay, so that's all due that Monday. The reason we did it this way is so when you booth week three, you're practicing your elevator pitch. You have a whole week to practice your pitch. So by Monday night, you should feel confident to film your two minute video, okay? Week five is the first week of mandatory office hours for those who make it past the elevator pitch round. The biggest reason for mandatory office hours week five is because you cannot get your first sale money until you meet with one of our consultants. So that'll be the full week. You can work with your schedule. We'll have like office hours for the Side Hustle Challenge where you guys can walk through, schedule meetings with our consultants. More details will come once we get there. But all you need to know now is it's mandatory. They're like 30 minutes, so they're quick. They're not super long. The second mandatory office hour is week seven. This is closer to the final, so this is us checking in on your checkbook, making sure you're filling it out right, if you're having any problems, or if you've had problems getting your money or anything like that. This is like last minute assistance, getting you ready for week nine, okay? Week eight, you're going to be submitting your checkbook. The biggest reason for this is we wanna make sure you guys are actually using the money for the competition, not just taking the money and running with it. <laughs> your checkbook can be fixed. We're not really grading it on if it's right or wrong. We just want to make sure you did it. Whoever doesn't submit their checkbook will not be able to make it to the final place, okay? So this is like gearing for the deadlines, right, for the final. As long as you submit it, you get to participate. We'll be giving you guys feedback to, you know, fix certain things on that checkbook before week nine, so you have a whole week to fix it, okay? Then you have the final marketplace week nine. So that's a Friday. The marketplace will be from like 2.30 to 6.30. Our goal is to have it like farmer's market style. So you guys will have your booths, and it's sort of like everyone's going around testing out your products if you have some, or buying your services, whatever they are. The biggest thing for the competition that everyone will have in common is a poster board. Instead of having you guys all create a website, we've sort of taken out that sort of technical need, and you're gonna be making a trifold poster board. Whoever makes it past the week four video submissions will be giving you details on when you can come pick up your poster board, but we'll, we will be supplying all the materials for that. If you guys wanted to add anything extra, you totally could, okay? Anyone have questions on the mandatory things? No? Cool, I'm trying to breeze through this. Any so questions can... outside? Oh yeah. Anyone? Preguntas? No. no. Okay, all right. cool. We're doing good. So, the elevator pitch. Like I mentioned, this is what you should have in it. It should not be longer than two minutes. There is no pitch deck. Please do not have a, pit, a slide deck next to you on the side. This is like your mini infomercial. The point of this is to be fun, it's to be creative, it's to take out all of that technical stuff for those who might not be into that, okay? Or who have no experience with that. So, and it must be through 
a public accessible link. I think we're changing this to startup tree, so don't stress about the second bullet. But it has to be a public Google link or like on YouTube or Vimeo or something like that. So we have access to it. If it's like you have to request access for it, it will not count. You have to make sure we have access the date submitted, okay? Then I'm gonna give you guys the poster details. So you can pick them up around week four after you get the congratulations, you've made it to the semifinals. You can come pick up your poster board. And I'm gonna show you guys pictures and stuff too. But ideally, your poster should be like your website. It should have an about, what you're selling, how much you're selling it for, and your checkbook. So those three parts of it are required. Anything else, it's really up to you. Get as creative as you want. You can have testimonials, you can have it like Yelp where you have ratings, you can have your QR code to your Venmo there, your social media handles. You do what you want. Question, can yes. you have things, other things at the booth, like your products and other things in yes. addition? So the only thing required for the challenge is a poster board, okay? If you don't have a poster board by week nine, you probably won't make it to the final marketplace, okay? But you have four weeks, five weeks, you have a month to make it. You only need three required parts and one of them you have to submit to make it there anyway. So it's not that hard. And I have a couple pictures so you guys can see. So we talked to the Cal State in Nevada. They did something similar, okay? and they actually had them. So this is an example of what a booth would be. If you're a mobile detailer or you wash windows or whatever it is, as you can see, it's what they do, how much they charge and everything else. This is obviously a super business one. They don't all look like this, okay? Everyone is different. This is someone who has a landscaping side hustle, okay? He literally just printed and taped his papers on there and he already had a website because he's had this side hustle for a while. So he had his laptop, okay? If you're selling digital services or you build people websites and you want to show people your website that you already have built, you totally can. We're not saying you can't have a website. We're just not making it mandatory for those who just work through Cash App or Zelle or something like that, okay? Here's another picture. She sells food. In this case, I think they're making lemonade. Super easy, okay? This is meant to be fun and creative. She's selling anime art with recycled paper. This is the winner. She had an Etsy store where she just sell out a whole bunch of knitted things and handmade jewelry. So really, I'm not even really sure what this is. I think it was a podcast or some type of thing on social media, okay? You guys can get as crazy, as big, as creative as you guys want. We're really trying to throw it back to like, when we were kids, we want this to be fun for you guys. This is different, the stakes aren't as high. No one's winning 50,000 to go get funded and to go exit, blah, blah, blah. This is for you to do what you like for fun and make money. If you like making coloring books and you wanna sell them on Etsy or you wanna sell them on Amazon, this is the place to help you, right? We're gonna give you guys that push to get started so you can actually make money by the end, which is why I think this one is so cool and it's my favorite one so far. Don't tell Ryan. <laughs> and then from there, Ryan will take it away. All right, that makes sense, right? It's pretty easy. All right, think about how difficult that is. I don't want you to think from a scale of zero to 10. I'll be honest, okay? And we're gonna all shout it out loud. I want you to shout it out outside as well. We wanna get a gauge. You know how it all breaks down. On a scale of zero to 10, zero being like, you know, this is, wait, let's see, zero would be, it's super easy, right? 10 is gonna be like, wow, that's really hard. All right, low number wins for Steph here. On the count of three, one, two, three. Seven and nine? So you think it's that hard? Okay. Entrepreneurship is hard. Side hustles are hard. But we have got this set up so that, yeah. All right, well, our goal is to make this feel like it's more of a three or four. And we're stepping you through the whole process. You all found us today. That means you can all walk back in tomorrow. You can use all of these resources. You can meet with us. We have consultants. We are here to help you through the process. Raise your hand again if you don't have a side hustle. Yeah, okay, it may feel like a nine, but we're here, okay? All right. Boothing. 
Next week is Irvine Tech Week. Has anybody heard about Irvine Tech Week? Irvine Tech Week, the place to be. Celebrating innovation, can't you see? You got developers, entrepreneurs, and all the greats. When you build the future, there's no time for breaks. From AI to AR to chat, GPT, FinTech, MedTech, sustainability. We got investors that you gotta meet. It's a tech revolution in the Irvine streets. We got a 5K panels, a startup weekend. It's a time to level up, so let's begin. Connect with the movers and the shakers and the pros. Irvine is where the tech scene grows. Help me out for this last first. Don't just stand there. Clap your hands. You can know the rap beat. Come on. Outside too. Outside. So let's get together. Explore. All right, start it up again. Give me a beat together. Boom, 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 boom. Let's get together because it's time to explore. Unlock your minds and open up the door. Join the tech community and make your mark. MA Irvine Tech Week ignite your spark. <laughs> Drop the mic. Listen up. Next Thursday, we have over 40 startups from the community, from the campus, people who are well along with their ideas and people who are just starting. You have an opportunity to have your own booth and talk with people about this new side hustle of yours. Okay, so how many people are interested in having a booth at Irvine Tech Week next Thursday, even though you don't even know what your side hustle is? How many people willing? Hell yeah. All right, you will get your own booth and your, your knees will be clacking. You'll be like, I'm not sure what to do, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do. Know your pitch. I'm a tutor. I'm a walking dogs. Actually, don't sit down. Okay, reel them in, smile. Hey, come over here and talk to me. These are people, not like on Ring Road, that you're avoiding. These are people who are here to meet with you. Okay, you want to learn about them. Oh, tell me about yourself. You learn a little bit about them. Then you basically cater your pitch. Oh, you have children? Great. Well, I do tutoring. Are they in math? Well, level math, great. Ask questions. Have you ever had a math tutor before? Who's your babysitter now? Are you happy with them? Do you have any dogs I can walk? Okay. You're having a fun conversation. They want to talk to you. That's why they're here. Make eye contact. Simple stuff. Now, what to share? I'm super passionate about cars, and that's why I'm not only going to wash your car, I'm going to wax your headlights because you look like a fool with those foggy headlights. If you go to the real place, it's going to cost you 150 bucks. I charge you 75. What do you think? What do you think? Is that too much? Too low? I'm a starving student. Help me out, bro. Okay? Be honest. This is the first time I've actually talked to somebody about it. I just came up with this three days ago. Oh, that's so cute. Throw money at him, okay? Give them something. Hey, for you, I'll do something special. For you, 60 bucks instead of 75, right? Just figure it out. What do you have to lose? You haven't done anything yet. Now, you always have to get something. So a call to action, a QR code. You can make a Google form. You can get their email. You can follow them on Instagram. You can ask to connect on LinkedIn. Something you want to get from them. Maybe you have a clipboard. People love a clipboard, unless you're outside of Ralph's and then you avoid them, just like the Girl Scout cookies, OK? But these people want to connect with you. And guess what? They're going to come back in six weeks, and then you'll see their presentation, and you'll be able to hopefully close them. Now, people want to support students. That's why they're here. And if they don't have a dog, do you know anybody with a dog? If they don't have foggy headlights, do you know anybody with foggy headlights? Do you mind if you make that introduction to me? Here's my email. I'm a student in a side hustle challenge. This is for fun, competition, right? So it's really just a chance for people to support you. And we want to get as many of you here next Thursday. It's going to be exciting. All right, branding. How many people here have a personal brand? Raise your hand. OK, I hope that people participated outside, but I'm guessing nobody rose their hands. Listen, everybody has a personal brand. If you did not raise your hand, it just means that you're not participating in your own brand narrative. I size you up. You got a mini Mac, and it's there, and you got glasses, and I can size you up, and I can make a judgment. I'm going to judge you on your shoes, and your backpack, and your hat, and the ears on your hat, and the way you're folding your arms. I know you're nervous, but that's OK. Look, we show up every day, and people judge us. We're social signaling. She goes to UCI, I know, because she has a sweatshirt. All right? So at the end of the day, your brand is really who you are, and this is a chance to develop it, to take ownership of it. Why should you care about a brand? Because that's who you are. And if you want to be known as somebody who's an engineer, guess what? When somebody's getting into company,
That's what we do. We, we ride things until the wheels fall off here. All right, can you hear us? So why would you have a personal brand? Does anybody want to get a regular job at the end of the day as well? It's okay. Yeah, your resume is your brand. Your LinkedIn is your brand. Your, all these activities that you're doing, all these credit, accreditations you're trying to do, all these classes, this is all you. This is a chance to help solidify it, build your resume, prove to people that you're passionate about something, and all the skills that come with entrepreneurship come along with this. So how do you claim it? I'm going to show you three things in just a few minutes. What do you want to be known for? This is like such a cool question for you to think about. It's tough because you're exploring who you are right now. This is the time to do it. But this side hustle can help you figure out who you are. The side hustle can help you learn leadership. The side hustle can help you with your communication. The side hustle can get you all the stuff, don't listen, UCI, that they don't teach you at UCI. They're not teaching this stuff. It's a research school. So we're here to help you get this stuff. Now, your brand is not what other people think about you. And it's not what you want to be known for. It's somewhere in the middle. And so if you want to be known as somebody who does blank, but you never talk about it, you never write about it, it's not on your LinkedIn and nobody knows about it, then they're not going to know. So this is a chance to share your passion. Any artists in the room? All right. Woo! This is a chance for people to get to know you as an artist. I'm doing a side hustle challenge. I'm selling art. Oh, you must be an artist. You do that enough and people are going to think that person's an artist. It's really not too difficult, you just have to participate in it. Your brand is who you are. You're all unique. UCI is so amazing because it's so diverse, and we're so, like, we have an anteater for a mascot, for criminy's sake. Like, he's quirky, we're all quirky. But when you own that, and that's your side hustle, people trust you to do the job that you're doing. Here's the three ways that you start with a personal brand. You figure out, what do you want to be known for as a profession? What do you want to be known for as a personality? And what do you like to do for fun? Well, guess what? A side hustle checks all these boxes. Because maybe the side hustle lines up with what you want to do professionally. Maybe it lines up with your personality. And maybe it's something that you like to do for fun that you turn into money. All right. Customer discovery. The reason why you should booth is to figure out your customers. How many people know the scientific method? Yes. You make an observation. Then you create a hypothesis. And then you create experiments. And then you run tests. And you gather the data, you evaluate the data, and you run it up against your hypothesis. This is just a science experiment. And so for your side hustle, you make an observation. People's headlights are foggy. And you make a hypothesis. I bet you somebody paid me 60 bucks to do it. Then you go ask people and create an experiment. And if 10 out of 10 people will do it for 60 bucks, you've reinforced your hypothesis. Now go out there and try to sell it. And if you don't sell it, Maybe lower it to 50 bucks and create another experiment. This is just a scientific experiment. So a side hustle is really science. And this is entrepreneurship. This is finding a problem to solve, solving it. Now, the best way to figure out customer discovery is in person. It's actually talking to somebody, somebody who wants to listen to you. Not somebody who's haggling you on Ring Road. Not a survey that people don't see and they're just trying to click through to get that reward. So next week, you have a chance. And I want you to scan this code, and I want you to fill out the form, and I want to see everybody boothing this next Thursday. And we're here for you. And if you're not sure what to say, I'm going to show you how we can figure that out real quick. Look at all these phones. Yeah. Look at all these phones. Actually, I'm going to move, Ruby, I'm going to move over here so that I'm less in the light. So follow me over here. This might work better. All right. Does that sound good? All right, we'll make sure you get this access. But next Thursday, all you got to do is just show up just by yourself, and you'll be able to talk with people. All right, now I'm handing back to our fearless leader, Steph. Steph, where are you at? All right, give a round of applause if you know you have a personal brand. Ha, I fooled you. Uh, Yes, sir, question. Oh, you have a personal. How many people have a personal brand? Okay, now here's a better question. How many people don't really feel like they've claimed their brand? That's okay, but know that you have a brand, and this side hustle can help people get to know who you are, turn your passions into profits. Word. Give it up for Steph. Steph, come on back up here. (laughs) Woo! What am I doing? Ah, these, yes. All right, everybody. So, these, oh, 
Sorry. <laughs> hey, everyone on the internet. Okay, so these are examples of side hustles that we actually got from the Entrepreneur Magazine, from Shopify.com, and a few that we have heard from the streets, okay? Someone actually, believe it or not, according to the magazine, made $30,000 breeding crickets and mealworms for reptiles, okay? Super random, but you can make money really doing anything, okay? These are just a few. You can teach online courses, like if some people are into financial literacy or part of your brand is advocating for a specific population or a specific illness or something like that. You can make e-courses and sell them online. Someone was selling them through Eventbrite, like you can literally just make an Eventbrite and sell your courses through there. It doesn't even have to be anything fancy, okay? You can even be a mobile notary. Who knows what a notary is? Kinda sorta? Okay, I kinda sorta know too. Overall, when it comes to like wills, ah, I'm supposed to say here. When it comes to like creating wills or like living trusts, you have to have a third party sign it to pretty much verify, like be a witness, okay? You can charge like $40 a signature and some of these things need like 15 signatures, okay? You can make a crap ton of money being a mobile notary, okay? And we're pretty much just trying to show you guys that you can really make money doing anything. Some people have mobile detailing, right? Or a mobile groomer, or like they said, dog walking, whether it's through Fiverr or you just make flyers and sell them on the, you know, you go put them in people's doors and stuff. The opportunities are endless. You can also use chat GPT, be like, I'm really into X, Y, Z. Help me come up with side hustles around what you enjoy, okay? So there's so many resources to find them. We don't want you guys to stress about finding one. Just find something that ac you actually love and it's gonna be so much easier to make money, stuff like that. Cool, does anybody have any questions? Does anybody want to share an idea for a side hustle? You're not competing against each other, so. Yeah, does anyone want to share inside, outside? Yes. Uh, yeah, so it's just sneaker items and uh, sneakers. Customizing sneakers. That's a good one. Yes. Um, yes too, haircuts. Haircuts. I was going to almost put that one too. Ooh, freeze drying nerds, guys. That's the thing. Is that what you mean? Like freeze drying foods? Freeze dry anything, exactly. It's coming up. Yeah, that's a good one. Anyone else? Ube brownies. Screen printing, nice. All right, who else over here? Yes. Cooking classes. How cool is that, right? How many of you, okay, just real quick, how many of you are confident with your cooking skills? Raise your hand. Okay, opposite, how many people could use a tutor, a cooking tutor? Look at that, that's crazy. Think of something that you're good at. Maybe skateboarding lessons. Ooh. Any other ideas? Any other ideas? Yeah, go for it. Piano teacher. All right. And if you need help, you walk in and you talk with one of us or one of our consultants. We can help. Like, what are you good at? What do you like to do for fun? All these things. How can you sell it, right? This is, this is something we can figure out. And, bef and as she's pulling that up, how many people have ha heard of ZotGPT? There's a, it's a real thing. Okay, how many people heard of ChatGPT? Okay. You can go to ChatGPT and you can say, this is what I'm good at. What kind of side hustle could I come up with? Brrr. Give me side hustles good for college students. Brrr. You can come up with all these ideas. Now, once you come up with one of these ideas, you could go over to GoZigZag, which is actually a sponsor, and you get it for free with a UCI email, by the way. We need this for the, for the video. 
We'll just use what I have here, okay? I used this this past weekend, but let's say I wanted to create a business around rooftop gardens in an urban area, okay? I would type whatever I wanted to in here. You click Unleash Your Startup Idea. It'll load, okay? But look at what it gives you. It gives you an elevator pitch. It gives you a name. It helps you find your brand. It gives you questions, customer interviews, and you can see all of it in our favorite business model canvas, okay? The business model canvas is a tool that the School of Business actually uses. It's part of like the lean startup method, okay? It's all about testing your hypothesis before you actually go and start something, right? And could it come up with a with a business pitch just based on that idea? 100%. Oh my goodness, wait, look for it. I am, elevator pitch! Oh, right there. Now if you take the prompt and you tweak it at all, it repopulates and does it. So you can come up with like five side hustle ideas, drop all five of them into or combine them, and it literally comes up with questions to ask customers. It even creates a website, just like that, as a splash page. Like it's that easy, zero, not nine, okay? You type in a prompt and it puts it all together. Sound good? But like any other AI, Disclaimer, accuracy is not always correct. So you really got to make sure you verify everything on there. Yeah, it's to lower the bearer because you guys said it's like a seven. Hopefully after just watching go zigzag, you're all feeling like it's kind of like a three or a four. Okay, let's test it out. We were at a nine before. On the count of three, say how easy you think this is. Zero being easy, 10 being super hard. One, two, three. Oh, we're down to a five. We're down Woo! to a five. All right. Woo, five is good. We knocked down four points. All right. So another thing Tom was talking about was Udemy, and I'll go ahead and show you guys. We'll, we'll do a whole logging into that as well. So for Udemy, let me, I'm, I'm. Okay. And if you want to gain access, you can come and go to the hub and they'll show you how to get set up. It's, it's free for UCI. It's actually easier than that. So you can just type in UCI Udemy. We don't see that part of the screen. Oh, that's really awkward. I'm still working on technology. Let me. Give Steph a hand. Yeah. And that felt more like a sympathy oh. clap, but I appreciate it. I appreciate go. it. Can everyone come Give on. it a second. Give it a second. Okay. Oh. oh, that's not it, but we can use this too. <laughs> Don't ask. UCI, you to me. And then you literally, like Tom was saying, here it is. And you just log into it, and it'll ask you to duo all of that stuff. And you can really type in anything here. So Wait, wait. Yeah, what do you want to learn? Cooking. Cooking. What else? Piano. Or if you, let's say you're trying to make an Etsy store or something, right? Or some people might be into Shopify. For the artists in the house, yeah. We have an e-commerce website coming up soon, but you could literally type in Shopify. Obviously, you can be more specific if you want, but it'll give you a whole bunch of videos on how you can become a Shopify expert. It'll to teach complete you, Shopify now, yeah. yes. And then some of them are like, if you want to be a ghostwriter using AI, they have a whole bunch of ways to help you find things. So on top of YouTube, you actually have these like accredited videos and stuff too. Um, yeah, so that's another option and a way to learn outside of like the workshops that we're gonna be holding for you guys as well, okay? So this is, we're really trying to make this as easy as possible for you. Another thing that you can use, oh, let me make it bigger, is our one-on-one -on -one coaching like we were mentioning. If you follow us on campus groups, this is like our home page. If you click that book a meeting today button, you'll be able to see all of our consultants. Everyone has a bio. So if you had a specific question, you can ask that person. Every consultant consults the exact same way, okay? Like Calendly, you can just book time or you can just walk in. Our consultants are here almost every day for office hours, regardless of whether or not you're in the competition, okay? So whether you want a computer or not, this is a resource that's also here for you guys. Let's say you find videos on Udemy and you have questions about it, or you start a side hustle and you're like, actually, how do I get to X, Y, Z, okay? So we're here to help you with all of it, really. This is just the first stage, just giving you guys all the information. And if this trips you up, like walk in the door and we'll show you how to figure that out, all right? Perfect. And then all the other rules and eligibility and everything that we talked about today is also on the website. This PowerPoint, will also be included on the website. The links for like Go Zigzag and all of that stuff will be on the website too. The only other thing that 
we should show you, probably, is Startup Tree. So you guys know what the interest or the entry looks like. Let me find that real quick. Oop, that's not ours. That's not ours. I have too many tabs. Let's go here, guys. Let me. Perfect. So our side hustle challenge is now live. We'll be sharing a QR code at the end so you guys can enter now. If you do have a team of two to three, we ask that every team member enters individually. It doesn't really make a difference. When we go asking like for sponsorship and all of that stuff, we just want to show how many people are participating in it. There's no wrong if you don't all enter, but we encourage every single person on the team to enter if you are on a team. If not, you enter yourself. It's just like your name, all of that basic information. The submission form for your pitch video is not going to be on Startup Tree. Whoever enters the competition will be getting your emails and will be emailing you all the video submission and all of that stuff. So you have plenty of time to think about joining. You have till the beginning of week one, or week four, that Monday of week four, to figure out whether or not you want to join. You have all of Irvine Tech Week to go speak to people about your idea, ask if people are willing to pay. Like Ryan was saying, figuring out how much people are willing to pay. You never know. You might think you're selling haircuts to college students, but you go out in the community and you realize, oh crap, there's a lot of 50-year-old dudes who don't want to leave their house. and I can just go give them haircuts instead because they pay me more money. So that's these next two weeks are really times for you to test out your ideas, figure it out, ask us for help. Next week, we want you to find an idea, at least one. Irvine, that boothing day is really you to like test if your idea is viable get you guys some real-time feedback and stuff so you guys are confident when you turn in your pitch video and when you submit it and we move on and all that stuff. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. There could be seven people who have a haircut company. It's just like how are you going to make yourself different than someone else, right? Like on Yelp, right? Probably the more testimonials you have, you know, the more traction you can show, the more pictures you have on your poster board. So it, that just depends on your individual like sales and stuff like that. But again, we have a whole bunch of workshops to help teach you guys how to get your poster boards together, all of that stuff. At the end of the day, it's really not a competition against each other. We're just trying to help you guys challenge yourselves to get you guys something in the future. So it doesn't matter if ideas are repeated, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we'll be sending out emails similar to any competition. So after you submit your videos the Monday of week four, you're gonna, we're gonna take a few days, probably like three to four days, three to five days. Then it'll be like, congratulations, you've made it to the semifinals, you can pick up your poster board, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Then around week eight, when you have to submit your ledgers, right? We'll be like, congratulations, you made it to the final, or sorry, because you didn't make all the mandatory office hours and workshops, you're no longer able to be at the final marketplace, and stuff like that. So there's only two, the submission video, and then the checkbook, and then it's the final. Um, honestly, it's probably gonna be the people who are able to articulate their idea the best, almost like, an elevator pitch, right? If I'm talking like this and selling something like this and my whole video is me looking and talking like this rather than someone who's like, you know, giving effort, trying to be creative, that's really the big thing. It's the quality. If you met all of the things, like you hit all of the points in that video. If you have a pitch deck, let me repeat this. If you put slides, you're automatically disqualified. This is not a startup. This is a super low bar elevator pitch. And you can come in and talk with us and we can help you. We can film you. Like the thing is, we want this to be super accessible and we're not judging like whether you're gonna get into a competition or not. We're here to make sure that you're serious and that you've thought through these different elements. What am I actually doing? Why am I excited about it? How am I gonna try to do this? And that's just the basis. So that helps you to get to make a decision, and then once you've made that decision, based on how much money we can raise, we're gonna be your first sale. And we're gonna get you money, and then you can learn how to take and track that money on. So don't be intimidated. This is not a business pitch competition. This is a side hustle. Yeah. 
the biggest reason why we're having you submit videos is so we can actually count how many people are entering so we know how much money that we have available depending on how much we can raise, how much each of you will get. Okay, so I wouldn't really necessarily freak out about getting cut out of the challenge after the submit video. Ideally, realistically, we want everyone to make it through. It really just depends on how much money we're able to give everyone. That's like the biggest reason for the submission of the videos. Does that make everyone feel a little bit better? Yeah. Repeat the question. If you have three people, does, does everybody have to be in the video? No, I don't think so. You're just getting it across. Yeah, one person can hold the camera, the other person can like be there for support, and then the other person can do the pitch. No, or guess what? Maybe you have a camera and you have somebody like a little acted out like, hey, what's going on? Uh, your hair looks a little long. Yeah, it's because it's so expensive to get my hair cut. I'm broke. And you just pull out, I can solve that. Like, you can be fun and creative with it, right? And if you need somebody for a video, we can always be that person, or we can help find a person. You roll in here anytime, and there's like people who want to help you out. Who has never been here before slash heard of our resources? Just really quick, just in case. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. So we are a free service for all undergraduate students. Graduates, too. We help you, too, we promise, even though we're mainly for undergraduates. Similar to like the writing center or the career center, we help you with anything related to your entrepreneurial endeavors or things outside of school or work. So your LinkedIn, we also do free headshots. We have a 3D printer, a laser cutter, a podcast room, okay? So if you wanted Pong to join, table, yeah, if you wanted to make a podcast for your side hustle, we have a full room with a bajillion microphones and cameras and all of that stuff. So. We're here to help you guys. Wellness Wednesdays. Every Wednesday we do Pilates. Yeah, we Campus do. groups. We've got all the kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. So we have a whole bunch of things to help you. Okay? So there's podcast stuff. There's PLA. There's a whole bunch of things that you can use in the center to help you in this competition. The more you use us, the better you're probably going to do. Almost like anything. The more energy you put into it, the better you're going to do. Using our consultants, asking them for feedback on your videos. There's no – our consultants don't judge – they're not part of anything that happens in the competitions. Their one job is to help you guys be the best. And I will say, this is our cork board over here. We have some side hustlers already, and we will expand this cork board as far as we need to put your little flyer up. We've got tape for you so you can go put it on the canvas. Like, we're here to help you through this process as part of your startup team, okay? We have free printing if you need to print flyers. Yes, print flyers on us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All so right. There's so many things, okay? You just ask us, and if we can't help you, we'll find someone who can, okay? All right, now final question, outside as well, entertain me here on a scale of zero to 10, zero being super easy, 10 being the most difficult thing you've done in your life, based on this, the support, the help, the go zigzag, chat GPT, everything else in between, tell me the number you think on the count of three. One, two, three. Zero! zero. All right, give yourselves a round of applause. And what we're going to do is I'm going to change the slide in just a minute, but right now I'm going to add one more QR code. Uh, actually, this is the startup tree. <laughs> this is the startup tree to enter into the competition on the left-hand side for those of you outside. This is good your skills. Like you zoom in on one, and I'm sorry, it's Steph, and then this is the registration for the boothing. Okay, so make sure you get both of those. Let's take a few minutes now to register with startup tree number one, and then... Make sure that you fill out the boothing information over here. Okay, no cost. It's gonna be super fun. It's optional, though. We it is optional. Pressure you guys, if you don't. I'm gonna pressure like you. No, I'm just kidding. Up today, you do have till the Monday of week four to sign up, if you want to think about yes. it. Yes. So if you wanted to find a friend to recruit them, right? This is not a high pressure situation. We just want to give you the information, and we'll make sure that you have it. We'll reply via email in the back. Yes. If you have a physical product, bring it. If you want to, before Thursday, create a QR code for people to fill out a survey or get a piece of paper and like, like take whatever it is. You don't have to have anything. You can show up and be like, they're like, what are you doing here? Well, you look like you need a haircut. That's what I'm doing, right? Or you could spend between now and next Thursday and get crafty. We have plenty of paper, we have markers, you can create, like we have a big piece of paper, you can create whatever you want. 
right? Have some sort of takeaway. Maybe it's your LinkedIn profile. Maybe it's a piece of paper. Maybe it's whatever that is. So great question. If you have something already, you can sell it. Maybe if you're thinking about buying or selling sneakers, bring sneakers and be like, just as a visual, right? So there's really no pressure. But in six weeks from then, you'll have way more setup and you'll be ready to sell. So this is like, give me your information now, see how hard I hustle in the next six weeks, and when you come back, I'm ready to sell to you. And then you contact them and you ask them, what's the pricing, is this too much? You, you have an honest conversation with them so you're not guessing. Other questions? Yes? So the checkbook we're gonna explain in detail in the financial workshop, it's as simple as this. It's gonna be a way of tracking the money that you're bringing in, how you're spending the money, and how much money you're making. It's like a checkbook. So we're gonna create a form where your first sale- I'll Give them all the details because they have to come to the workshop. That's what you, yes. You can, you, can, it, you can be making money now and just accelerate it. You can have a brand new side hustle. This dude's already making money. He's like a rock star tutor. He's a math tutor. Have any other questions for people who don't have any I know it's past six so don't feel pressure to sit any longer than you already have the recording because I know people are asking outside the recording will be put on the side hustle web page so you guys will, can find everything on the website question here it's here it's here and in the Mirage Courtyard, depending on how much space we need. So fill out the form. Please fill out the form, hopefully by tomorrow, and then I'm gonna send everybody an email with details, and the boothing is here. And we're inviting, we have 150 people from the community that are gonna show up to come and hang out and talk with people. Even if you don't have a booth, and you just wanna like yes. ask people questions, you're more than welcome to do that too. Just the come and hang out. The part is just being, it's a networking event. It's to start your pipeline and get people interested in coming back to you for week nine. That's all. And we did take a survey and for the most part people said email is good. So we're gonna be emailing you as part of the main competition. No Discord or this or whatever. So check your emails. We're here for you if you have any questions, okay? All right, put your hands together. You've now started your side hustle if you decide to join. <laughs> Give it up one more time for Steph. We got Ruby in the back. We got Angie outside. We got a whole team here ready to support you. And I want to talk to you about piano lessons. All right, here we go. Enjoy, meet, hang out. I don't know if there's pizza. You can talk with other folks and everything like that. Follow us on Instagram as well. And we're out.